hello guys in this tutorial i will going to show you how you can download and install any tool on your kali linux 2020 the very first thing i am telling you is that on the kali 2020 version kali linux remove root default user as we all know in the previous 2019 and 2018 version we direct login through root user but in the 2020 version we login on the home user account the reason why I am I telling you this because for those people who are in the home user account they cannot install any software without root permission if you want to know which user you are simply type pwd on your terminal and hit enter as you see here I am on the home user account so if you want to install any software you have to log in on the root user first now the question is how you can log in on the root user the answer is first make root user account follow this step if you want to make a root user account type on your terminal sudo password root when you hit enter it will ask your sudo user account password you can type here user account password and then and now it will move on your root user password and then you type here root user password and type again when you see password updated successfully it means your root user account is created now the time is login from root account log out from this user account and login from root account hello guys hope you are logging from root account let me check type here pwd and hit it now. and you can see i am logging from the root account okay so guys in this tutorial i am going to show you how you can download and install virtual box on your kali linux 2020 version oracle virtual Box is a free application that can be installed on intel and amd processor computers Oracle VirtualBox software can be installed on operating systems such as Windows, Linux and Mac OS. Running Oracle VirtualBox on Windows is very easy, but when you set up VirtualBox on a Linux distribution, you may sometimes facing the error. So in this video I am going to show you how you can fix these errors and install it completely. So open your browser and type VirtualBox. click on the download select Linux distribution you should choose Debian for your Kali system from the option listed on the Linux distribution now click on the Debian 10 and it asks you the save file I already downloaded it that's why I cancel this process after downloaded open your terminal and type ls and go to the download directory and you can see my virtual box setup is installed completely now you can type this command sudo dpkg dash i and paste the virtual box setup and now here you can see this error libsd1 is not installed now you can type this command wget and this complete command this command i also is also available on the description below you can copy it and paste on your terminal and now you can type this command now this command now install the package l now install the package libsd1.2 debian this command now you can type this command 
these all commands also available on the description below you can copy it and paste on your terminal and now you can type this command sudo have get installed dkms build essential it will ask the, the permission you type y and hit enter it will take some time completely depend on your internet speed which is done and setting up now it is in virtual box is installed completely you can type here virtual box and hit enter and you can see virtual box is installed successfully hope you like this video if your error is resolved so please like and subscribe my channel i'll catch you in the next video bye